going. You bumped into me, your highness. Well, you should really be more aware of your surroundings, especially when royalty is walking by. Rachel, dance ended like a week ago. No one cares about your stupid crown. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Hey Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Um, there are more coming, right? Yeah, sorry I'm late. Rachel had to walk slowly for dramatic effect. Don't scold me for looking good. There are more, right? No, Miss Robin. Just call me Charlotte. No, Miss Charlotte, there are no more. The music department was on the brink of extinction before it even got started. How does that work? Well, after an outstanding amount of signatures, the program was approved. But obviously, no one wanted to follow through with their commitment. I told you so. So what does that mean for us? Well, what it means, Miss Charlotte, is that you either have to recruit enough students to keep the program, or provide a reasonable revenue stream for the school. How the hell are we supposed to do that? I'll leave that up to you. Wait, who is she? to your counselor, and she told me that you haven't put in any college applications. Mr. Kemp, I've been really busy. Who else is going to run this crappy school? The principal. Yeah, but the real school. After all, I'm royalty for a reason. Rachel, that crown is an $8 bargain bin prop from the Halloween store. It doesn't mean anything. Well... You're old, so you wouldn't understand. Something I do understand is that you need to go to college. You're smart and talented, but it seems like you only want to live in this fantasy. And that disappoints me. to say I'm sorry if we got off on the wrong foot earlier. Miss Hansen. You will call me Miss Hansen. Okay, Miss Hansen. Why'd you call me in here? Well, I called the two of you in here today to talk about your continued involvement in the music department. Why? Obviously, Miss Sunshine should be the only one here. Yeah, I mean, I did get all the signatures for the music department, so I... And look how well that turned out. As for you, Miss... Jackie. Call me Jackie. Miss Jackie. You're here because I have an eye for untapped potential. And I don't play favorites. But didn't you say that the music department was on the brink of extinction? Why are we here? Because, and I don't know why, I have a plan to revive this lifeless pity party <sighs> by cashing in on a tragedy and buying myself more time. Wait, you mean buying the music department more time? Uh, yeah, uh-huh, that's right. Wait, why would you want to help us? because there's potential for using this department for art. I've got our first performance planned. I'm thinking of doing a stage tribute on the life of Jacob Abbott. 
Wait, you mean Jacob Abbott the killer? The serial killer. There's a great controversy surrounding the mini murders and I think I can use that controversy for art. You're gonna use the brutal murders of this serial killer to draw attention for our school? I'm in. I think it's a good idea. A more of a heartful tribute to the fallen ones of the tragedy. Anyway, I'm going to be holding auditions for the lead roles in a week. Now, keep in mind, the lead female role of Claire Young is of utmost importance. She'll be the speaker, the lead singer, and more. In short, the highlight of the whole performance, the star. Um, I'll be checking on your audition pieces in a few days. Now I expect you to spread the word because I want to see everybody there. That's it. You're dismissed. Hey, Charlotte? Yeah? Look, I usually don't care about this kind of thing, but I was wondering if maybe you'd help me with this audition or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, of course. What do you need help with? I wouldn't call myself the most amazing singer, so vocal lessons or tips, something. I at least want to try for a good part. Yeah, I can do that. I got your back. Okay. Well, thanks, Charlotte. I'll, I'll see you around. Kevin, what's up? Hey, Neil. How are you? Fine. Man, it was a hell of a win yesterday, right? Yeah, I guess. No, bro. Remember that pick six I threw? Gotta work on that accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're right. You did mess up. <laughs> yeah. I did. You know, Gavin, this is my last season. And knowing that you'll be taking over eases my worries. The team's in good hands. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta get going. I'll catch you around. God, Neil is such a good guy. Oh, I'm not such a good guy? What? I can throw footballs too. I didn't say you weren't a good football player. Yeah, whatever. You great quarterback. And a good guy. You'll see. Okay. Rachel, please. Your seat. Well, we all know why you're here. You've scraped through school your entire lives. And now this. Um, I'm here because I have detention and this seemed a lot better than staring at walls. Ben, this is serious. There's a bad case of the college crisis epidemic. Oh my God, are people dying? What? No, but- Doesn't sound like a crisis to me. Fewer students are enrolling in college every year and that is a crisis. That's because the only affordable school is Baymont County Community. There are plenty of opportunities at an out-of-state college for a person like you, Ben. Gay? Yes. Uh, no. Wait. No, I wasn't talking about that. You two. You two are bright individuals with plenty of opportunities. Mr. Kemp, I have opportunities. Near Lake Cafe is offering me a position at the end of graduation. So I think I've got this whole post-grad thing figured out. Yeah, and I have a whole playlist of lo-fi beats to study slash relax to, and once that drops, I'll be set for life. Thought I had more faith than you two. Rachel, I've read your essays. You write with passion, precision, and glamour. Any college would love to have you. But you waste your talent on this persona of yours. Ben, I've talked to your instructors. You're a bright student with wisdom beyond your years. Your knowledge has helped other students in their crisis. But again,
again. Potential wasted. You both could have such fulfilling futures. I'm not saying that college is always the answer, but it's a lot better than here. A lot better than Baymont. Class dismissed. Phones and backpacks, not pockets. You know what? You're all right. Jackie! Jesus! Are you ready to get singing? Uh-huh. All right. OK, let's start by testing your range. Sure. Repeat after me. After me. <laughs> Okay, actually, you know what? We're gonna start with a penta scale. What's the penta? Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay, um, that was good. That was really good. Let's try it again. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Is that good? You know, good, bad. Singing is art, so I don't really know if I could judge that. Why do I even try? This is stupid. I'm stupid. Wait, Charlotte, stop. But you've got to start somewhere. Why do you insist on helping me? Anything worth doing is worth doing as a beginner. Besides, you've barely even started. So? Even if we rehearsed for months, I'd still sound like a dying cat. That's not true. You have potential. At least you're not a soprano. That's nice, sweetie. But I'm done embarrassing myself. Why did you ask? Ask what? For voice lessons. Why did you ask in the first place? Because I thought maybe I'd be a part of something. Any of the other clubs, they wouldn't have taken me. And there you are. Bubbly and bright and willing to take anyone. Including me. Honestly, you don't sound bad. We'll work on it for the rest of the week. And trust me, I've been with people in choir who would kill to have a voice like yours. Come on. Work on it for 15 more minutes, and if you hate it, you can leave. Fine. Okay, same thing tomorrow? Yep. All right.
Dad? Gavin, yeah, what was that? Oh, you, you know, Dad, just those weights, just really repping those weights. You don't have to lie to me, son. I know it was those butterfingers. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm taking Sophia out tonight, so, uh, you know, I won't be there to go over your workout anymore. You'll have to go twice as hard tomorrow. Oh. Okay, Dad. Moving up through the ranks yet? You talked to your coach? Yeah, Dad. Uh, he said I'd, I'd probably have to work on my froze. <laughs> What's new? Same old disappointment. You know, I'm not surprised. Neil's a great quarterback. Wish he was my son. Kid's got a great arm. Well, oh, well, you know, I'll, I'll see you around the house. Oh. Oh, okay, Dad. Bye. Love you. Yep. Hey, Gav. Um, you doing all right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because your phone's still connected to the team's Bluetooth speaker. And that was pretty brutal. Yeah? You know what, Neil? I knew that. Well, man, I'm here for you. The team's here for you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let us know. Whoa. Yeah? You know what, Neil? You're always uh, thinking you're better than me. Just leave me alone. Oh, bro. I'm just trying to help. I think you should chill out. Why do I need to chill out? Why don't you? Bro, don't do something you're gonna regret. Like what? Like throwing a football? Scared I'll hit you? Trying to, trying to intercept my dad? Gav. Yeah. I think you should just sit down. I'm tired of everybody telling me what to do. No, 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 no. Nobody's telling you what to do. We're just here to help. Help? This is all because of you. You do everything I want. Wait, 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 wait. Here it comes. Oh! That gets me going. Okay. Um, what about Kingston University? How far away is that? Says a 17 hour drive. Oh. What, you don't like it? I don't know. It says I got a good English program. Just seems a bit far. All the colleges you picked are like three hours away. Those are the ones I like. You don't want to leave Baymont. Uh, what? I mean, Baymont isn't that bad. We've got... Nothing. We've got nothing. We've got good people. No, I used to think that. And you don't anymore? Baymont is nice, but it's comfortable. And I think Mr. Kemp wants better than comfortable. And what's wrong with being comfortable? This town is just a big dead end, and I know we can do so much more at college or something. Well, what if we can't? Can't what? Can't make it out there, in a college or in a city or anywhere else. What about the money, the people, living alone? Do you actually think we're ready for that? I am. This town isn't right for me, and yeah, I've spent time trying to make people all right with who I am, but why should I have to do that? Wouldn't you want to start over? Why would I want to start over? Oh, never mind. Say it. Nah, just drop it. Look, you don't have to tell me who I am. I already know I'm horrible. That's the difference between you and I. So you're happy with who you are? No, not happy, but at least I accept it. I don't hide it. And at least people know of me here. 
I'm not forgotten or alone. Not yet. I get it. You want to stay in Baymont with your nice life and all that, but that's not going to fly with me. I just set you up with the interview at Kingston, so you're kind of effed. Seriously? Why would you do that? Well, at least one of us is getting out of this town, and I heard Kingston's pretty into the lo-fi scene, so I had to sign you up. Oh, shut up. You cannot deny these are some pretty sick beats. I guess so. Wait, here it comes again. Oh! <laughs> All right, let's begin. First auditioner, please. Hi, my name is Charlotte, and I will be auditioning for the part of Claire. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by war. Baby, my heart's on fire. Next. Thank you. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Next. Thank you. Hello, my baby. Hello, my Next. darling. Thank you. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my red Next. It's terrible. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Next. Thank you. Got it. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my Next. Rag Hi, I'm Jackie, and I'll be auditioning for whoever. Go ahead. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. Next. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Next. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. Excuse me, young man. Are you sure you're in the right room? Yeah. Thank you. Next. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Thank you. It's OK. What if I didn't get a part? Oh, shut up. You did amazing. I don't know. She hated it. Yeah, she hated it. You're fine. You're fine. We're in this together. Attention all auditioners. The official cast list has been posted outside of the music classroom. Thank you. <laughs> I can't look. Charlotte, tell me what I got. Is it good? Bad? What? La. La. Chorus? You put me in the chorus? You've got an issue with that? What is your problem with me? Oh, I've got no problem with you. I just think you need to learn your place. My place? You wouldn't even have a job if it weren't for me. That didn't get you the part now, did it? But I was clearly the best singer in that audition. You think so? I am. <laughs> well, that's the issue with you now, isn't it, Charlotte? Always so sure of yourself. But I worked the hardest for this. I've spent so much time on this department, on those audition pieces. I deserve this, and you know it. Deserve? You don't deserve anything. 
I gave that part to the best person at the audition. Now, just because you worked hard doesn't make you the best. And maybe your best just isn't good enough. Did you see? I caught Claire. I can't believe it. Charlotte, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. You're the reason this happened. All those music lessons, they really paid off. Remember? We're in this together. Hello? Charlotte! What's up, Gavin? You know, the usual. I heard the hatches got another win last night. Must be feeling good. I guess. I heard Neil got some pretty good plays in. God, Neil's such a good guy. Hey, look, there's Jackie. Jackie. You're not gonna believe this, but I got the lead in the musical. What? No way! That's really cool. So you're gonna turn into some kind of diva? Yeah, do you get your own trailer and stuff? <laughs> I don't think I'm at that level yet, but thanks. Oh, so you get murdered. Yeah, I get like stabbed. And then there's like red streamers coming out of my body. It's crazy. Charlotte. Ben. Why are you hanging out with her? Wow, rude. We were just looking at some college stuff. But you're supposed to be my friend. I mean, can't we all just be friends? Yeah, I mean, whatever happened to not sticking to the high school BS? Yeah, well, you made my life hell, so you're the exception. Charlotte, as much as I would love to get into this with you right now, I can't. We have to go fill out this thing called a FAPSA? FAPSA. Right. Anyway, Charlotte, I don't know what's going on with you, but you need to let that stuff go. I'll catch you around. There's two types of high schoolers. Yeah? The nerds and the jocks. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, for example, the jocks are the cool ones and the nerds are the dumb ones. Like you. You're a nerd. I think you got the wrong message from Breakfast Club. No way. What? No way! What? I got into Kingston. Rachel, I'm thrilled to offer you admission to Kingston University for the fall semester. I can't believe it. Ben? Ben, you there? Yeah. You okay? I didn't get in. <laughs> 